Hey guys, have you ever wondered how much RAM speed actually matters? Well, we have, and in this video we're going to be reviewing two types of 3600 MHz RAM from Clev and compare them to the 3000 MHz RAM from Corsair to see if it makes any sense to go for faster sticks. Let me first cover the difference between the Clev RAM we have here today. First we have Clev Bolt X that is a very minimalistic and simple design with a matte surface. It is very slim so it'd be a good match for people who prefer simplicity or just have a closed case and they don't really care. The complete opposite of a spectrum is this Cross X RGB version. Armed with addressable RGB it has a pretty cool artistic look that comes into life with RGB waves as soon as PC gets switched on. These come in two speeds. 3200MHz and 3600MHz. The latter is using Hynix DJR chip which is supposed to have plenty of headroom for overclocking. Let us know if you'd like an in-depth overclocking review for that in the future. Other than lighting, these are using identical chips so essentially it is a matter of preference. Do bear in mind that the RGB type is almost 2cm taller and may interfere with some of your coolers. I personally prefer the RGB variant and I love that it works out of the box without any additional software installation, at least on our ASUS board. Simply plug it in and ASUS Armory automatically picks up the update. After a quick restart, it just works like any other device in your PC. We've done some tests and we'll cover standard synthetic benchmarking, throw in some creative workloads with rendering times and also gaming, as this is where the faster RAM should really shine the most. But first, let me talk you through our test bench. We ran these tests on the Ryzen 9 3900 XT with Asus B550 motherboard, Asus 2080 Super Graphics Card, Clev NVMe SSD, and Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 cooler inside a Be Quiet 500DX case. By the way, we have a review coming up for this case. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. When it comes down to RAM, we're testing both Clev sticks against Corsair LPX 3000 MHz. Do note, our Corsair sticks are 16 gigabytes each in comparison to the 8 gigabyte sticks from Clef, but size should really have little to no difference in these applications. As to the settings, we're using stock CPU settings and enabling DOCP, which is the default overclock profile for the RAM, bringing it to the advertised speed. A thing to note, when we talk about effective RAM speed, it is important to also consider CAS latency. This is a delay between RAM receiving the command and actually being able to respond. In some cases, really fast RAM with high latency may have worse performance than slower RAM with low latency. We can look at this like a train that goes really fast but has to stop at each station for 10 minutes versus a train that's traveling at moderate speed but carrying out stops in under five minutes. So you need to balance between the two. Let's jump into testing. And first up we have Cinebench R20. In single core test, as you can see from the results, there's almost no difference across all three of them. Not a great start here. When we look at the multi-core test, we actually see Corsair RAM delivering slightly better results. This is likely caused by the faster timings on the memory. Next we check Max Mem benchmark, which focuses on memory bandwidth. And here in the read speeds, we get about 4% improvement in comparison to the Corsair RAM. When jumping onto the write speeds, we see a much greater difference. In this scenario, the difference between 3000 MHz and 3600 MHz is a whopping 17%. It is almost a perfect scaling. Lastly, copy speeds. These remain within the margin of error between all the variants. Next up, we have handbrake test. And here we see both types of RAM are delivering similar results at 1080p and 4K resolutions. In this example, there is a bottleneck on the CPU side, so faster RAM bears no real difference. Let's look at the gaming results. For this, we've tested games at 1080p and maxed out the graphical settings, starting with Total War Free Kingdoms. Here, Clev RAM is performing between 2.6 and 2.9% better on average score and 3.5 to 4.5% better on the 1 percentile, depending on which RAM stick you're looking at. When analyzing this further, we found that while using Corsair RAM, the GPU is jumping between 93 and 98% utilization. When using Clev memory, it was locked solid at 99%, which just shows with faster memory, we're able to fully saturate the graphics card. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we see a 3% difference in average frame rates and 3 to 4.5% when it comes to 1 percentiles. 
Using both Corsair and Clevram, the GPU was essentially maxed out, but on the latter it was also hitting power limits, which is clear that it's pushing an extra little bit harder. Next up, Formula 1, and here it gets very interesting. There is a 3.4 to 4.9% improvement on average frame rate, which is consistent with the previous tests, but also there is a 4.4 to 8.9% improvement on one percentiles, and this is actually a really significant improvement. When digging deeper, we find the GPU jumping between 88 and 98% utilization on a Corsair RAM, and between 92 and 97 on a Clev RAM. Lastly, in Doom Eternal, we see almost identical scores between Corsair RAM and non-RGB Clev sticks. However, RGB type has 5% improvement on average and 4.5% on a 1 percentile. When looking really closely at the results, it is very interesting to see that even though both Clev RAM types have the same memory chips, they do still deliver slightly different results. In some cases, the non-RGB version is better, and in the others, RGB takes a slight lead. Maybe the internet is right and RGB actually gives you better performance. A more realistic answer is unfortunately that there's tolerances in the manufacturing. Ultimately, devices need to deliver what they're advertised to do. But beyond that, they may vary by a few percent there and there. So, what is our conclusion for this Clev RAM? Well, let's see what we've got here. In general tests that we did in the beginning of this video, we found that the faster speeds may have little to no impact. But when it comes down to gaming, there is a consistent trend with improvement on both average frame rate and more importantly, the one percentiles. This is where the most perceived difference could be, especially if you're playing a very fast paced games. When using Ryzen 3000 series, you should really be aiming for the speeds of 3600 to utilize the perfect 1 to 1 to 1 infinity fabric ratio, which in turn is maximizing your CPU efficiency. I would generally not advise people to go out there and upgrade their existing RAM if they have speeds of around 3000, but for people building a new system, the advice would be to aim for RAM speeds of 3600 and the lowest possible timing. As to the amount of RAM, unless you're doing 4K or 8K video editing, 16 gig of RAM is plenty. If you want to check out any of the items we've tested today, we will leave the links in the description below. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.